<laughs> well, um, thanks so much for starting out your morning with us. Um, we are super excited today because uh, one of our team, one of our team members is here in the kitchen with us, Connie Cola. And uh, she's just a couple desks down from us. <laughs> Smart family extraordinaire. Short little cubicle over. Here. Yes. <laughs> we throw things at her every so often and yep. then come and get goodies from her desk. Well, You're a lot of times when I do my, my Sonora and Living Teas on Facebook. Right. We, we Connie partner sort of in. sit in there in the I background. I kind of stand behind her and do a little hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we love about you. Yeah. Yeah. So we invited you on um, with some of the other um, folks that are, you know, in the building yes. on, on air to, to make something. And in the interest of full disclosure, you kind of do this on the show, cooking with, with, with Connie. Yeah, Connie with couple, in the kitchen. Connie in the kitchen, yep. We do that on our show, um, Smart Family, which is probably new to a lot of people at 3.30 every day uh, here on ABC 15. And we have a segment called Connie in the Kitchen that we've been doing every Thursday. And our Facebookers just asked for more, so we're doubling it now to Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yes. So what, do you, what kind of stuff do you make? Are they it's, your own recipes? or Most of them are my recipes, and they're really super simple. You guys have kids. I liked your bruschetta thing the other day. You did? Yes, oh, I did. Thank you, yeah. thank you, thank you. Um, you know, as moms, you're just crazy, crazy busy. So you're trying to get it all together mm -hmm. and get it on the table and make it somewhat healthy. And so that's really what it's about, simple stuff. And most of the time, you'll find a box in there. And that's what I've done with this recipe today. There is a box. Let's get started on that. <laughs> we'll get to know you a little bit more through the process because I, uh, I want to make sure. I usually cook in my kitchen, so it's pretty fun. Oh, too. I wow. love your cabinets. Can I just Thank say? You. That's what your, your house looks like? Yeah. That was a segment where we learned how to make a lemoncello because I have a big lemon tree in the backyard with tons of lemons, and I was trying to go, what am I going to do with all these lemons? And I bet other people were feeling the same way. I'm so, so distracted by the cabinetry. I love it. <laughs> I and know. The black splash, the back splash with the granite on the back as well. Oh, we're such okay. girls. We're back. <laughs> we're back. You're welcome. Focus. Anytime. <laughs> what are we making now? Okay. So this is, uh, you know, for the last, I was here in the mid-90s working in TV, and then I went to Philadelphia and met my husband. And during that time, um, you know, he's a Philly guy, and he loves his Philly cheesesteaks. So when we came back here, I said, all right, let me combine what my kids love, which is macaroni and cheese, with what my husband loves, which is a Philly cheesesteak. So it's Philly mac and cheese. I Philly mac and cheese. Yeah. Starts with a box. Super duper easy so you're just going to take a box of Velveeta and um, this is great for any sporting event like if you have to take a casserole to somebody's house for right. you know the big game or if it's just Friday night so I take Velveeta uh, and I love Velveeta some people like craft whatever but this you want to do. This is the kind you use. Is this, this is what I use. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I started to tell you before the show we were talking about my son doesn't like the. Um, you want to just dump that in the water? Sure. Over there? Okay. The craft mac and cheese but I think it's to do with wanting something creamier because then we yeah. went to Red Robin and he ate like a whole bowl of mac and cheese oh. and it was definitely a creamier consistency. Yeah. So I think this will be right up his alley. Okay, that's good. So I, I think I like the creamier. My kids like the creamier. I made a little bit of onions here for you, but what we're going to do now is, do you want to chop an onion? Sure. Okay, can I give you a smart tip? Sure. From our smart family. Okay, so put that in your mouth. Are you going like that with <laughs> <No. laughs> That would I be feel a like I saw this like on a cartoon, like <laughs> okay. a Wild West cartoon. All right. And then if you do that, it makes it so that the sulfur... Oh, me too? Oh, I was just going to laugh at Stephanie. Yeah. Okay. It makes it so the sulfur doesn't make your eyes cry. Does it? Does the, does the sulfur hurt your eyes at all right now? Or the onion flavor? Start no. chopping it and then we'll There you it. go. So try it. You never light it. You don't light it. It has to be a wood stick. Is this and a joke? No, I'm serious. <laughs> I do this all the time. I have these in my kitchen all the time. Watch your finger. And it won't hurt your eyes now at all. I got it. I, I cut more than you do. You, I'm sure you do, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so it's simple. You just take uh, about a half an onion and you're going to dice it up like that, which is beautiful. And then you saute those. Okay. And how are your eyes doing? They're great. They're good. Isn't it crazy? But it really works. I'm telling you. So Where did you, do you do this tip? at your home? <laughs> It's, it's really just to get to get words in with you standing next oh, to me. Because no, you knew you wouldn't get a word in edgewise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's the key. I get it. Okay, so we'll throw those in the, uh, you can throw those in the pan if you want to, or you just know now the they're matches? diced, and that's the way you do it. Okay, so, okay. While the, so while the onions are frying up over there, right, those are looking good, and our pasta is boiling. Now, the next thing, because I'm all about super simple and easy, is you're just going to go to the deli. Uh, and get about a pound of roast beef and just have them slice it like here, they would. Here, but this is, no. <laughs> <laughs> like they would normally slice it. Is this it. a full meal for you guys? This is, a, it do is. you serve uh -huh. something with it? Sometimes I, um, I'll put a vegetable with it always, but. Okay. Uh, and so we just do this and we kind of cut it up like that. Okay, and then into the pan it goes. So there's your protein. new about you right yep. now. I did not realize you were left-handed. Yeah, I'm a lefty. We have a lot of lefties um, in the newsroom. We do? We really? Kind of do, yeah. I think Kirk's a lefty. I think Steve Irvin's a lefty. I remember from the last time they were in our kitchen. Um, tell me a little bit about your kids and your family and, and how old they are. And well, what Sophia is 11. And uh, she is out to save the world. It's like little birds are chirping around her head. And she loves to write poetry. 
poetry, and, and she's always saying, Mom, that's not appropriate. She's very... Oh, <laughs> she's well, very, if, she, if she says that to you, because you know. are very appropriate. <laughs> Not that you're you would not be able to spend five uh -uh. minutes with yeah. Randy. Not even, <laughs> no. not three minutes. Yeah. Even. Well, it makes it, my son makes up for it then because he's going to be the uh, you know the frat party. Because uh, he's not appropriate. King. No, he is totally not appropriate. That's where she uses the comments probably. Yeah. <laughs> David is eight, and uh, if he's not making bodily sounds at every meal, oh, it's a boy thing. Yeah. What is that? Totally, they is. come out of the womb knowing yeah. how to do that. And is your son starting to get a little crazy like that? He's been doing the potty talk for <laughs> yeah, a years. long time. What is that? Okay, so now that's going to brown up in the best of situations here. Okay, so. then we're just going to take this. So all and we we're doing, we're, there. we're browning it. We didn't put any oil or anything. It was just a little bit of oil. Okay. Then your onions. You're going to saute that, and then you're going to get this really cooking. Okay. So that it browns up a little bit and kind of crisps up. Okay. Great. Then I'm cheating here. I'm going to take this and just kind of put it down in here because I already made some pasta for you. And I'm just gonna, if you ever make pasta, if you're busy, you know, and you're, it's like a crazy day and you know you're not even gonna have time to boil water when you get home from work. Literally. You can, yeah, really. <laughs> you can make your pasta in the morning, stick it in the refrigerator in a Ziploc bag, and then as long as you put it back in the water that you boiled it in. The same water you boiled it in? Yeah, so you're okay. just gonna stick a lid on that for the day and then just leave it alone, right? You come home and you're just gonna refresh it. So it all goes in here. And we'll put that over there. And then we're gonna open this. So what is the most surprising thing that you have learned about yourself through doing Smart Family? Because I know you kind of came from the newsy side of things and, and transitioned did. into the more the lifestyle local programming arena. Well, I think the, the biggest thing for me was just how cool it is to really be a mom and embrace that. Uh -huh. I always loved being a mom, but being on TV and helping other people just be smart and efficient and learn how to run their household a whole lot easier than you know we've been doing it, because sometimes we... You know, we do, we take um, the long route on things. Right. It's fun to go, hey, listen, here's a smart and simple tip to make this super easy and fast. And as a lot of it, a kind of a natural extension of what you already did in your home, and then you just kind of, you know, think so. taught people to stick like matches in their mouth along <laughs> the same thing. You know, I think it is. You know, my grandmother, I used to crack up because before she went to bed at night, she would set the kitchen table for breakfast. Really? And I used to think, oh. okay, that's just kind of crazy. But now, do you do I really, it? I kind of appreciate that. Yeah. Because just think, you get up in the morning and that's one do more you thing do that finished. Now? Sometimes, yeah. If we yeah. have people over, I do, yeah. Anything you could do ahead of time to get yeah. organized. I'm I always think I'm next going pool to. party. So now, should I put this in now or yeah, so for it, timing purposes, I think? Yeah, go ahead. Throw it in. Now, the heat from the steak is yeah. going to kind of heat Ready? up the cheese, right? It's going to help. Yep, go ahead. And throw it all in there. Oh, it smelled between the roast beef and the onions. Oh, remember yum, yum, when yum. we were talking about having a party and putting all of our resources together that we've learned? Is we one of our resources it? Connie? Yeah, I feel like we need to either have it at her house. I mean, she's setting the table the night before. Either it needs to be at her house. Let's do it. Or I'm you know just what? need to have her yeah. come to your party. Done. Daphne's one been making two. fun of me because since I've moved back, I've had people at my house almost every weekend. So. Uh, Really? It is kind of have you gone to her house? I've not received an invitation as of yet. Have you, <laughs> Andy? No, All right. I haven't. Grab a fork and jump Look in. Look at her change the subject. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. But <laughs> you're welcome. It's anytime. like the match thing. She's putting the fork in our like we're on to you. We are on to you. Put a match okay. in your mouth and be quiet. I got the cheesiest bite. Oh, this looks so yummy. Well, I have to say, since the mid nineties I have loved Sonoran Living and this is the first time I've ever been on, so it was a real treat. I'm glad I got to bring you a dish. Oh, mm. that's good. Is it okay? It's great. It's good better stuff? than okay. My mm -hmm. kids would love it. Easy too, right? Yeah. How long did that take us? Like five minutes at the most, probably. Maybe like seven. Seven. Or eight. eight. I think Fabulous. we actually went over. <laughs> did it really? <laughs> I don't know. She said, take more time. Is that okay? Sure. Okay, <laughs> Bonnie.